Rec Room exists in two layers. Layer one is the room layer that has everything you can see and interact with without the Maker Pen. Layer two is the invisible circuits layer that you can't see unless you have Maker Pen or people have let you see circuits. Now let's break the Rec Room illusion for a little bit. When you and a friend are in a room in Rec Room, you aren't actually in the same room together. You have your copy of the room and they have their copy of the room. And what you're seeing is kind of like a hologram of the other person. And using some internet magic we'll call it all of the objects are synced which means if I move a block in this room it gets moved in my friend's room as well in general just remember everything you see in layer one the room layer is gonna be synced and be the same for everybody now circuits on the other hand are a bit different in the circuit layer as far as chips and wires go they're all still synced so if I make a new chip in my room it pops up in their room as well but the actual execution the orange signal running through the orange wire is not synced. It runs on everybody's devices individually, or the proper term is locally. Now since they are both running at the same time, this means it's possible for both sets to do something different. In our example circuits here, one of them is making the ball go up and down, and the other one is making the cube spin. But because the room layer is synced, it's happening in both of our rooms, even though the circuits making them occur are happening in each individual room. Now because our circuits are not synced, this means we need to manually sync them whenever it's appropriate. For instance, if we have a certain variable that needs to be the same for every player, whether it's a number variable, a player variable, a bool variable, whichever one it is, we're going to need to configure that variable to be synced so that it's the same for everybody on everybody's system. We also need to deal with interfering circuits. A perfect example of this is from one of my make something follow you tutorials. We always use a if local player player is room authority. Without this chip in place, everyone's system is running the follow circuit, and since everyone's positions and things aren't exactly the same, you can see the follow monster is all jittery because it's getting a bunch of similar but slightly different locations from everyone's machines. It doesn't know exactly what to do. But if we add the if local player is room authority chip, it only runs on the system of the player who is room authority. Therefore, the position it's receiving is only one, and it's just smoother for everybody. Now, there is one more big thing you need to know about circuits, and we will cover that in next week's video. If it's out, I'll leave it right here. If you'd like to know how to make a next bot, check that video out down there. RCL man out.